Hello everyone, my name is Vikas Shukla and I am representing Wide Spectrum where we cover a lot of topics of wide ranges and in today's uh, discussion I am going to talk about the US economy's second quarter GDP numbers. There is a lot of confusion about what that those numbers mean. We are seeing two numbers. One is uh, annualized GDP growth rate which is 32.9 percent which essentially means that you GDP contracted by a, 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 a by one third and there is a second number which says that uh, quarter to quarter uh, uh, quarter to quarter decline rate basically comparing this quarter which is second quarter of 2020 with respect to the 2019 quarter ni lumber you can think of like that so that number is more realistic 9.5 percent and that's probably is the figure that is going to apply for the current situation and I want to declutter uh, what those two numbers means. So let's uh, talk about the annualized growth rate number 32.9 percent. Um, how does it come from? To understand it you need to let's say uh, typically how a BEA the US government's agency that does these calculations Let's say our GDP is a uh, hundred whatever hundred dollars in 2019 and suddenly you find that in a particular quarter that's the second quarter of 2020 those numbers they are something like 10% um, contracted it became uh, 90 and $90 or something like that so by $90 I mean that of course in a it's going to be one fourth of 90 because whatever that number in that quarter we multiply it by four to get an annualized number and that annualized number just to give you a good idea of that the, the, the US economy size of that economy is 20 trillion dollars I'll give it a give I'll um, take a little bit out of it so in what the US is what we are report being reported is that the US economy the annualized quarter second quarter number is 19.4 trillion dollar which means that in second quarter of 2020 we had one fourth of 19.4 trillion dollar uh, GDP now if you look at the 2019 number for the whole year that number is 21.4 trillion dollar I am rounding it off to make it a little uh, easier for you so if you subtract from 21.4, 19.4 trillion, you get 2 trillion dollar of annualized difference and if you divide that number by 21.4 trillion dollar, you get that number 9.5 percent decrease on an annualized basis. So we should consider that that is a more realistic number second quarter. The third quarter we were looking that probably we would recover but because the pandemic uh, is continuing we should see a number an annualized number of something around 19.4 trillion or a little better than that because we ex do expect that some economy is going to open up so the things should get better a little better in the third quarter but not much better that's what my personal assumption but i think i could be wrong it could recover more substantially now with that number it's it's not going to be much worse than what it was so coming back to where do we get this 32.9 percent annualized uh, GDP uh, drop so the way it, uh, it calculates uh, the BEA calculates is let's say we come go back to a hundred dollar GDP number and let's say first quarter of 2020 would have a GDP annualized GDP of 90 percent of 90 of 10 percent decline or 90 trillion dollar which means that it assumes that the the 10 percent decline will continue into the the, the second quarter as well which means that what is 90 uh, dollars would become 
81 dollar another 10 percent decline that would become 81 dollars in in the in the in the second quarter and in the third quarter there will be a further decline of 10 percent compared to the second quarter so that will become 81 dollar minus again about eight dollars which will become 72 dollars and then again 10 percent decline in the fourth quarter that will become 63 dollars so our gdp size would if it is if with the this the pattern of this decline keeps the same rate of 10 percent 10 percent every quarter then we will see uh, the DP shrinking to $63 in the fourth quarter and that will represent a 30, 37% decline in the GDP over an annualized basis. Now if you go back and, up, and put that instead of 10 put the number 9.5 you get that number 32.9 percent of annualized decrease over a four period annual quarter so those are the two numbers now in general in normal cases what happens is the gdp growth is typically only one percent in one quarter typically it's actually a little less than historically in u.s case uh, so 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 that number is going let's say it's one percent for simplicity then a hundred dollar gdp in the first quarter becomes another one percent growth in the second quarter makes up roughly around 2.1 percent uh, and the third quarter it becomes 2.3.3% uh, uh, and the fourth qu quarter another 1% so it will become like 4.4%. So 1% in one quarter increase becomes around 4.4% in the four quarters and then we see that these numbers are, are working uh, good. I mean you need to piggyback those increases quarter by quarter and that's how it gets and it does not look that bad when the numbers are small but if the numbers are very big like 10 percent those 33 percent numbers are not realistic we do not expect another 10 percent decline uh, in the third quarter compared to the second quarter so 9 percent 9.5 percent uh, decline is a more realistic number that we should stick at least for now but moving forward then the economy comes back to the normal one percent per quarter growth we can uh, use the the annualized growth rate as a more realistic number i hope i have tried to declutter those things those two numbers and hope you would like it i also uh, post more articles on economy u.s economy stock market so stay tuned and look forward to for the more uh, such topics thanks